back in 1999, Burger King ran an ambitious campaign of including one of 57 different Pokemon toys in their kids' meals. Today, we're going to take a closer look at those various toys. The toys themselves were split into different categories, as shown on this promotional poster. Let's start with the Pokebean bags. The characters available in this form are Oddish, Poliwhirl, Meowth, Gyarados, Snorlax, Golbat, Butterfree, and Togepi, who is the only Pokemon to receive a toy that isn't from the original first generation of Pokemon. Three variations of a plush Pikachu were made, and it was classified in its own category of talking. Each Pikachu variation said its name in a slightly different way when its stomach was squeezed. Unfortunately, mine no longer talk, but if I'm remembering correctly, one of mine said Pikachu, and the other, Pika Pika Pika. You can tell the difference in the variations by the letters on the tags. For example, I have letters B and C. The next category of toys was my favorite, the light-ups. The characters available were Mew, Mewtwo, Gengar, Raichu, and Charmander. These toys have a switch on them that, when turned on, lights up the toy. It's just too bad that these toys were designed so that you cannot replace the batteries, so mine no longer light up. The fourth category is keychains. And there were a lot of characters made in this style, including Geodude, Hitmonlee, Sandshrew, Nidorino, Cubone, Vileplume, Sandslash, Nidoking, Nidoqueen, Dragonite, Kangaskhan, Electabuzz, and Muck. The round Pokemon were converted into Reptop toys that spin like tops. The characters in this style are Grabbler, Golem, Coughing, Venonat, Tangela, Jigglypuff, Chansey, Voltorb, Clefairy, Diglett, Magnemite, and Ditto. You're supposed to drag the toy's spinner on a hard surface to get the toy some momentum, and then it's supposed to spin. I've never really had much luck with that, though. Many of the water-type Pokémon receive squirter toys that can spray a stream of water, including Poliwrath, Seedra, Psyduck, Poliwag, Kabuta, Tentacruel, Squirtle, Blastoise, and Sheldar. Most of these toys are a soft vinyl, but Blastoise and Sheldar are a harder plastic with a button. The final category of toys is Launchers. The characters in this style are Nidoran, Arcanine, Slowpoke, Lapras, Tauros, Rhyhorn, Venusaur, Bulbasaur, and Rapidash. The launchers came in two different styles, with some Pokemon firing from a Pokeball and others from what looks like the cloning machine. All of the toys were packaged in opaque plastic, so you couldn't see which Pokemon figure you received. The majority of the toys came with a regular Pokeball, but the size of the Pokeball varied. The ball splits in half, and it has a clip. Instead of a Pokeball, Mew came with a pink orb that it can fit inside. Mew too came with a tank that it can also fit inside of. Also, all of these toys came with a card featuring one of the original 151 Pokemon. Burger King also had sheets of cards that you could select instead of a toy. Each sheet had nine cards attached, and there were 20 different sheets. The cards from the sheets are a lower quality than the ones included in the toy packaging, and if you separate the cards from the sheet, you're left with a rough perforated edge. Now I'd like to know if you remember these toys, and you can let me know down in the comments below if you managed to track any of them down. For me personally, this promotion made me really sick of eating Burger King food, and I still can't eat their burgers to this day. <laughs> I don't think that was Burger King's intended effect. <laughs> and before you go, feel free to check out some of my other videos for more toy reviews, toy crafts, and toy hunts. And if you like what you see, you could always subscribe to stay updated. And thanks for watching.